Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm gonna be talking to you about brands that are reliable, that I can count on in their specific categories. So whether it be foundation or lip products, these brands deliver every time. I can count on them to pull through with the goods when they release a product in the specific category that I know they are tried and tested geniuses at nailing. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up, let's talk about NARS. Now, NARS for me, there are a few areas that they smash it, blushes, blush palettes spring to mind. But the one category where I can guarantee I'm going to love their product when they bring it out is foundations. NARS smash their foundations every time. Their all day luminous foundation, which was one of the, like their earliest foundations been out for years and years and years. Several have followed after since that one. And it's no longer, I no longer have this one in my collection, but this was like my first kind of higher end foundation. I wore this for years, for like when I first started my channel around that time, that was my go-to favorite foundation. Since then, we've had the Radiant Longwear and the most recent light reflecting foundation that everybody loves, including me. Their skin tint is incredible. Their tinted moisturizer. They, like every foundation they come out with is an absolute banger and a massive pop foundation. Sheer Glow was never a complete favourite of mine because it's, I know that the name is like kind of ironic because it's actually quite high coverage and it's not very glowy. It's, it's a strange one. But apparently that means sheer, a sheer glow, a sheer glow, a hint of a glow is what they were going for with that title. But it is obviously quite confusing when it's a full coverage, more natural finish foundation. Sheer Glow is probably my least favorite, but lots of people's absolute all-time favorite. For me, it's just not glowy enough, <laughs> ironically given the name, but it's still a very good foundation. It's just not typically my preference. But for me, when NARS come out with a foundation, I'm going to try it because I know it's going to be great. They also have a fantastic shade range with a fantastic range of undertones, which is great. I love the packaging now that they've remembered we want to pump and we don't want to have to buy it separately. That was the last thing missing. But now for me, NARS and foundations go together like cream and jam on a scone. And don't you dare tell me that the jam goes first because that's an atrocity, okay? I've just opened up a whole can of worms, I know it. Next, let's talk about ABH. Definitely a brand that for me has kind of lost its magic that it used to have, the excitement that I get, but one category that I still, to this day, will completely back them on and know that if they release their product in this category, it's going to be fire, and that is brows. I mean, come on, of course, it's ABH. That's where they started. They were a brow specialist company that went into makeup and launched a whole range and became one of the hugest brands that there are, a viral Instagram brand. Everyone was dying to get onto their PR list. It was like a whole thing. But when it, we bring it back to basics, whether the brand has kind of dropped off a little bit from where it was five years ago. They can still do a brow product like no other. The Brow Freeze, their most recent brow product, I think, is it? Have they released a brow product since then? I can't remember one. That changed the game for me, it made me love my brows, just made me decide to go and get start laminating my brows, which changed my whole life. And a phenomenal, like the only brow kind of holding product that has ever really worked for me. I just find their brow products are so excellent. If ABH are bringing out a brow product, you 100% can guarantee it isn't going to be bad. It's not going to be useless. They know brows. You can count on ABH for brows. Next up, let's talk about a brand that I feel like I could say this about every single category. Every category there is, this brand for me, I can count on them. Although recently they have had a strike, but in a product that I don't really care about, but we're talking about Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury for me, whether it's primer, foundation, concealer, 
eyeshadow, lip products, cheek products, mascara. I feel like it's a banger every time. Obviously, you just find your brands, don't you? I feel like there are certain brands that are for you and some that aren't. I find, for example, Chanel eyeshadow, the color story and the performance just never really appeals to me. But for some people, Chanel is just it. And for eyeshadow, it's exactly what they want. I love a Pat McGrath eyeshadow. It does it for me. Some people, it's just too much. It's too much glitter. It's too over the top. Do you see what I'm saying? Some brands are just for people. And Charlotte Tilbury is just for me. It just is. Everything about their products just speaks to me. It's the exact finish and texture and color stories and shades and tones. It all is just like it's made for me. That's how I feel about Charlotte Tilbury. This applies every single category. I'm going to pick it up. I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna trust that it's gonna, they're gonna smash it and I'm gonna love it every single time. Obviously the exception to that was the eyes to mesmerize, but at the same time, I'm not a cream shadow person. So, you know, those don't really appeal to me in the first place but everything else, oh, it just always ticks all my boxes and every Charlotte Tilbury launch, whatever category it's in, it gets me excited. They used to be lacking in the mascara area and then they brought out a mascara that instantly became like my number one holy grail. So there's no longer a category left that I don't love them in. For lots of people, Charlotte Tilbury's lip products always lean to peachy and orange, but given that I love peachy and orangey toned lipsticks and even my nudes I love a peachy nude that is like fits me perfectly so it's not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody is going to feel the same way but it just literally suits me and it suits my preferences and my tastes in every category oh goody the bin man has arrived to ruin my video oh good now the dog is barking at the bin man next let's talk about a brand that I can always rely on for eyeshadow and that is was that like a drum roll we don't know pat mcgrath i mean come on you you surely you guessed that pat mcgrath i mean whether the color story is like fully for me or not it's not going to happen that I'm going to purchase a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and be disappointed. Maybe the colour story is not for me, but I'm still going to be wowed and floored and enjoy and get joy out of it every time. She is the eyeshadow queen and I just, li I mean, I treasure my mothership palettes especially. Those are like the joy of my life. When it comes to a day when I've got a free day and I don't need to try anything or test new makeup, I can do whatever I want with my makeup, I'm going to reach for a mothership every time because they're just peak joy, peak makeup joy. The process of working with Pat McGrath eyeshadows, it's just like nothing else. It's just so uplifting and joyful for me at least. I don't know, do you feel the same way? That's how I feel. It's just even the Bridgerton eyeshadow palette that I said, it's not really my colour story. I kind of picked it up thinking, you know, oh, I need to try this out and do a review and do a look with it for my channel. Then it arrived and I used it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It looks stunning. And someone commented in one of my videos recently saying, how can it, how is it that with Pat McGrath eyeshadows, you know, I can turn on a video and I just know that what you're wearing on your eyes is Pat McGrath. You can tell it has a look. It's just a brighter shine and light reflecting like glint that no other eyeshadows have. It's like nothing else. And yeah. We can always rely on Mother for two things. One, stunning eyeshadows. Two, painfully slow delivery. She giveth and she taketh away. Next, another brand that I can fully rely on for base products. So not just foundation, but base products. We're talking foundation, primer, concealer. Do you know who it is? Do you know? Can you guess? It's Tom Ford. <sighs> Tom Ford foundations, concealers. The primer has recently like come in and rocked my world. Tom Ford base products just do it for me. It's the finish. It's the packaging. I love luxurious, luxe, delightful packaging. It's the textures. It's just the quality. Um, 
I love it. And I'm not a big fan. I'm we ironically wearing Tom Ford eyeshadow as I bash them today, but it's because it just arrived yesterday and I'm just trying it out for the first time. It doesn't mean a thing, I promise you. I find Tom Ford eyeshadows, like, and they never really speak to me. I'm never really drawn to them. I think they're fine. They're obviously not for me, but the foundations, what do I have? I have two foundations and they are like my all-time favorite luminous foundation and like my all-time favorite matte foundation they can do no wrong when it comes to foundations they chefs kiss it every time i've never tried the stick which i know is like a crime because for lots of people that's like the holy grail but i just i hate sticks okay but maybe I need to make an exception for the Tom Ford sticks because their foundations, if they bring a foundation out, they bring a concealer out, if they bring a primer out, I'm going to be trying it because I've only ever had phenomenal experiences and clearly Tom Ford base products are for me. They're just made for me far more than their eyeshadows are. Next, let's talk about a brand who I always can rely on for lip products and delivering on lip formulas, lip shades, and just everything about lips. And it is Fenty Beauty. Not a huge lover of Fenty Beauty in any other category, really. I think their foundations are decent. Haven't even wanted to pick up or try their eyeshadow products, their cheek products haven't really appealed to me so far. Mascara just okay, but their lip products, glosses, I mean, they're literally famous for their glosses, glosses that changed the game. Their liquid lips, one of my favorite formulas. Their balms, again, one of my all-time favorite formulas. Fenty can do a lip product, and I feel like they do innovative lip products as well. Their cream glow, quite a unique new product with that opacity, the high shine, the slip, no stickiness, gorgeous, the smell, I love their lip packaging. I feel like they have a lot of lip formulas and every one of them is excellent. Shade range, perfect, a color for everybody from the lightest shade to the deepest, richest, most vibrant reds. They can do lip products incredibly well. I will always be interested in Fenty lip products because I think they smash it every time. Next up, another brand who I just trust and am excited for in every category, much like Charlotte Tilbury. This is a much newer brand though, who has not yet got an entry in every category, but every category that they have checked off so far has been an utter win. Can you guess who I'm talking about? It's Lisa Eldridge. Lisa Eldridge, every category they have entered so far has been an absolute banger. Foundation, lips, both matte and luminous, glosses, liners, blushes, even though it's a cream, highlight, even though it's a liquid, and now eyeshadow, even though it's a cream, what's happening? She's changing the game. She's changing my mind on products that I didn't ever think I would like. Lisa Eldridge herself can do no wrong and the brand can do no wrong. I am mega excited for what is coming from this brand this year. I'm just always, it gets my heart pumping, much like the joy I experience with Pat McGrath eyeshadows. The Lisa Eldridge products, whenever she launches something new, I am so mega excited for it. I know I'm going to love it. I know she's going to nail it. It's going to be perfect. I feel like, again, they're quite innovative. They bring out products and formulas we haven't really seen or tried anything like before. And it's really exciting for me. I just can, I know I can rely on Lisa. I know I can rely on that brand, that anything that they bring out in any category is going to become a favorite because it's going to be done so well with so much care and work and attention to detail that it's going to be a banger, whatever category it's in. There's never been a fail. I'm trying to think. There's never been a fail or something I just haven't even loved from the brand. Even in categories I don't like, creams and liquids, don't like them, but hers were amazing. So there you have it. Colours. I feel like she's so clever with her lip colours and the shades that she comes out with are so unique. Like, yes, they might be pinks and peaches or even nudes, 
but they're like somehow the perfect shade that no one's ever done before, the perfect undertones that work with our skin tones and that, you know, bring out certain colours and bring out your eyes and things like that and just work so much better. I just think she's so clever with colour. I need to stop talking about Lisa Eldridge because we'll be here all day, but let's just leave it there. I can rely on that brand and that lady for anything. Another brand that I can rely on for eyeshadow, you must know who it's going to be. We've already spoken about Pat McGrath. It's Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Everyone always asks, who's your favorite, Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath? That's like choosing between my children. They do different things. Although they both are the queens of eyeshadow, I feel like in totally different ways. For me, Natasha Denona and the color stories that that brand comes out with, is it, bar none, genius. The color story of their palettes speaks to me. It's so clever, it's so thorough. It's ev You're never missing something from a Natasha Denona palette. Everything is always in there. The mattes are like the best chef's kiss that there are. Pat has the shimmers, the best chef's kiss that there are, and a very different vibe and aesthetic all around. But if Natasha Denona is releasing an eyeshadow palette, I know it's gonna be an absolute winner. She loves to play around with formulas. Not all of her formulas are for everybody. I know the Zendo palette for lots of people was disappointing because it wasn't as blingy and over the top when it came to the shimmers. But again, it offered the color story in the Zendo palette is one of the cleverest I've ever seen. And for me, I love that color story. It's stunning and so clever that it still hits the mark for me, even though the shimmers are somewhat lacking for what I want, I still really appreciate the palette and the cleverness that went into the color story and the layout and the combination of shades. It still does something for me. I've, again, I'm trying to think of a palette that I've been disappointed in from Natasha Denona. And even if I can think of one, which I can't really, it's more so about in my collection, I already have this. It's a bit more of a repetitive palette for me in my collection or something like that. The performance of her shadows always blows me away. Even in something like her Glam Face palette where there's a five pan of shadows, but in an overall palette, that's like one of my favorite palettes ever of all time for like neutrals, everyday shades, but with some punch. You can't beat Natasha Denona. Just a winner. I mean, the woman made Metropolis, she made Retro, she made the Glam face palettes. The shadows in there are like insane. Glam, bronze, the list goes on. Bieber, the most genius neutrals palette ever to exist. You cannot go wrong with Natasha Denona. She's gonna release an eyeshadow palette apart from possibly the pasta one, which may be a bridge too far, even for Natasha Denona, for me to be able to get on board with. <laughs> Colour story wise, it's my nightmare. But I guarantee people who love pastels, that's going to be the greatest of all time. Pastel palette. She can do no wrong when it comes to shadows. Next up, another brand that I can rely on for foundations, for bases, this is Shiseido. Shiseido, I mean, concealer too, love their concealer, but this brand, foundations, oh my goodness, the synchro skin, the self-refreshing and the radiant lifting and their skin tint, three of my favorite products in their categories of all time. Shiseido do stunning foundations. Again, shade range and undertones are one of my easiest undertone matching foundation ranges ever for me. You know, if you have olive tones, if like you have tricky olive undertones, Shiseido is pretty much the best of the best as far as getting an olive undertone for me, for my skin tone and my undertones. It's it's tricky at the best of times. Shiseido is one of the best that I have, winter and summer. The texture of their foundations, the coverage that they give, the finish is always exquisite. Chef's kiss, their skin tint is stunning. They're so clever with their bases, with their foundations. I wish they stopped putting SPF and everything. That's the only thing, but much like these other brands. If Shiseido is bringing out a foundation, you're coming home with me because I just know it's going to be excellent and I can trust that and I know it's not going to let me down because they do not do bad foundations. They can't. 
even if they wanted to, but I don't know why they would want to. But if they did want to, I don't know, maybe in April Fool's or something, they couldn't do it because they only know how to win when it comes to foundation. And finally, another brand that only wins when it comes to lip products of any and every variety. A brand that I feel like has become so underrated, such a dark horse, and it is Yves Saint Laurent. YSL lip products are like becoming my absolute go-to, my favorites. They, again, a bit like Fenty, they have some very clever, innovative, different, unique lip products. Their vinyl lip creams are like nothing else I've ever tried from another brand. Their things like their tint in balm, their plumping colors, that whole range are just so like beautiful but different to anything that any other brand is putting out. I love the packaging of their lip products, the colors. They do a lot of like my type of lip products, those juicy, fresh, glossy, but lots of color, lots of oranges and corals that are just the prettiest oranges and corals going. Everything is just made for me and the smell of their lip products I just could just go through my drawers sniffing these lipsticks all day. I'd be there all day if you let me. That would be a weird way to spend a day. But I'd have no regrets because my nose would have a party. They smell delightful. I can't quite tell you what the scent is. I just did a quick Google and I feel like every single person says it's something different. It kind of reminds me of its sweets. It smells like sweets, maybe something like palm of violets or something. Some people say it smells like peach. It doesn't turn at all like peach to me. I've heard other people say it's mango. Other people say it's melon. I feel like it kind of is a combination of all of the above, but not quite any of it. It's just delicious. It's the nicest smell smelling lip products on the market, they're a treat. But they are just like, they speak to me. I love glossy, shiny coverage. I love the colors they come out with. I love their packaging and it smells oh, delicious. And that doesn't hurt, you know? I have a lot of lipsticks. I have drawers full of lipsticks, but when Yves Saint Laurent comes out with a new lip formula or a new color range, I'm always gonna get a couple of them because they just are my absolute favorites when it comes to lip products. I feel like the brand really like stays under the radar. It's not one of the more hyped brands, but I feel like it should be, particularly when it comes to lip products because they can do no wrong. So there you have it, those are my go-to reliable brands in their certain categories and two brands that I just rely on for everything in every category. Please tell me your reliable brands and what category you know you can rely on them for because this is so interesting to me. I really wanna know what you guys have to say and which are your brands that you go to for specific categories of product and why, please let us know in the comment section down below. I love to hear everybody else's. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.